Hey, Doom. Where are them aliens I keep hearing about? People keep talking about them, but I don't see them nowhere. What gives? <laughs> yeah, I'm a skeptic, but I'm going to talk about aliens. Mm. Yeah, and I'm also going to talk about angels, uh, even though I'm uh, not a religious person. So keep that in mind. So, how do I, how do I start this? Well, I think of myself as having like a very, very narrow area of expertise. Um, don't ask my opinion about this thing uh, or that thing. Just, just ask me about this one thing. <laughs> and I'm really passionate about it. And I have a, I have a vision for that very narrow path and when I look at things I can look at it through this very narrow perspective and see things very clearly but only in that narrow passage and I've over the years realized that um, that doing that doing saying like oh I'm I really like this subject but uh, you know, some people like that subject. I don't really like that subject. You know, doing that, that is a sign of cognitive bias. And that's actually a way to uh, uh, figure out what biases you have. Is to ask yourself what areas you are, well, ignorant in. You're not really interested in. You don't really study it. The reality is that everything is uh, related. Everything's connected. And I've been starting to uh, widen my scope a little bit. And for a while I've been uh, really interested in the topic of angels. And I've been talking a lot recently about angels. Particularly that I think that the angels discussed in the Bible are actually referring to the mechanism of uh, a collective consciousness rather than ghost entities traveling around through space. And I think that because I think that the Bible is a, a monist text. <clears throat> so, the Bible is a monist text. And it talks about angels, and uh, some of those the things that, that it says about angels are very, very clearly their monist. But some things in the Bible are that having to do with angels are not really explicitly monist. They're they're different. Um, and that just goes to show you that uh, I, just like everyone else, cherry pick. Uh, and there's no such thing as fundamentalism because everyone cherry picks. Um, but I recently, I've, I've, um, I've, I haven't, I haven't done this topic yet because uh, only, only until recently have I really uh, gained a clear, a clear picture. On this and that that is the topic of aliens and and how it relates to the topic of angels so what do they say they say that aliens are actually demons uh, well you know I used to be really impressed by that concept uh, for about 12 minutes. <laughs> um, the problem is, you know, what are you talking about? When you say aliens, when you say angels, what are you talking about? Especially when you're... Um, see, what people do um, is they... Like, take for instance, people who really like the uh, subject of aliens or UFOs or something, and then they, they bring up uh, passages from the, the Bible. 
they cherry pick passages from the Bible to to say to point out like oh maybe there was an there were aliens in the Bible. They'll they'll pick out something like uh, that that thing in that like Ezekiel where something comes down from the heavens and it's like wheels within wheels or something. And then people start talking about like the Nephilim and how they like bred with humans and they made like giant humans and stuff. <clears throat> so when you look at it that way, then aliens in the Bible are physical creatures. Uh, flesh and blood creatures that eat and poop and they, they fly around in a spaceship and they came out of out of space and they landed on earth and walked around on okay so that's that's physical that's physical aliens and that's usually what people think when they when they say the word aliens they think oh physical like like the greys or the I don't know <laughs> I don't know what it's um, <laughs> Yeah, so people, when you say aliens, usually you think a physical creature. But recently, um, see, this is where the confusion comes in because for a number of decades, people have thought of angels as like ghosts that, that go from point A to point B. They fly around, they're like a substance. Like, ooh, there, there, there goes an angel. Uh, and even though that's not how they're described in the Bible, uh, Christians and other people have have started to view uh, angels from the Bible as as these kind of like ghost things that fly around. So when you say uh, aliens or demons, are you saying that aliens are physical creatures, or are you saying that aliens are these ghost things? that fly around without bodies. So which one is it? So that, that's like the main two. Um, it, it's kind of like, well, you know, are you referring to aliens in general as ghosts? Or are you referring to angels in general as physical beings? And then you get into the whole like, like the, the Scientology thing where, where like aliens are are not really like physical in the sense of like biological beings, but they're physical in the sense of uh, they're they're like dolls. They're inanimate dolls, but then the ghost substance like possesses the doll. So the the alien's actually like a ghost, but it's just possessing like a doll that that looks like an alien. So that perspective, that the the doll perspective. That is purely dualist because there's a separation between the consciousness of the alien and the uh, the, phys the 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 body, basically. And and people who talk about that uh, seriously view uh, animals and 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 human bodies as basically just just dolls uh, that are are possessed by a, like a, a a ghost. And when we die, the ghost will leave the uh, doll body. That would be dualism. <clears throat> so, so there's confusion there. Um, and then to add on top of it, um, here I come in talking about how like angels are are neither physical or ghosts. They're actually an An analogy, kind of like an analogy to to explain the the mechanism of the collective consciousness. That would mean that um, an angel is like an experience. An angel is a thought, and then a, a larger angel is a collection of thoughts or or a or a consciousness. And a, an even larger angel would be uh, a collection of multiple consciousnesses that makes up a, a, a greater consciousness. So that's neither a physical being walking around on the planet, and that's neither a ghost substance flying around. 
So it's like a third definition. So which one is it? Well, that's a good question. I can't say, uh, I can't tell you whether or not aliens exist, and I can't tell you or not whether or not angels exist. Um, especially if you can't tell me, you know, if you can't define ontologically exactly what it is you're talking about. So, just keep that in mind, that there's different ways of looking at things. That's, that's really the whole point of, of this video. That's the whole point of, of, of these videos that I make. The reason I, I, I really uh, decided to, to confidently speak on this subject is because I, I recently watched an interview, a, a Jeffrey Mishlove interview, um, where this guy was talking about um, going out to the countryside and using these techniques to, I guess, evoke UFOs, UFO sightings. Uh, and apparently there's this organization or these organizations of people that uh, like go out and do this and then UFOs come visit them. And later on through the, um, he, he built up to this point in the interview where he was explaining that uh, he doesn't really view them as aliens. Uh, he, 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 he kind of refers to them as intelligences. And, and he explained how the, uh, these intelligences were communicating with him and his friends and showing that they can use uh, illusions, cause, cause like hallucinations in a person, like somehow send experiences to their brain. And um, now that, that's probably That's really interesting to me how he described it, and and he's not like a, into like the occult or anything, but how he described it sounds like a lot of stories I've read about people doing Enochian and vision magic, uh, where basically you use a mirror and uh, advanced meditative techniques to uh, cause a hallucination in yourself and. Supposedly, contact uh, specific angels, and I've had uh, using that that technique. It, it was kind of an accident. I've used that technique before, and 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 actually, the things that I experienced were very very similar to to this alien guy, uh, how he was describing it, and 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 this. It just falls in line with, with everything I've read about uh, vision magic. So, there's definitely a common thread there. It's not just like, oh, here's the subject of angels, and here's the subject of aliens. Of course, there's, uh, there's, there's, there's mysteries around them. There's, there's mysterious things that go on, and people call them angels, people call them aliens. The bottom line is that you know there's 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 weird stuff that we can't uh, explain yet. We don't understand yet, and it happens, and uh, they're related somehow. Um, um, and and it, it's yet to be seen how they're how they're related or or, or what it means. But um, uh, it's it's definitely something to look into further.